Hey group one, I'd like you all to turn to page 138, please. Turn to page 138, 138. I'm gonna complete today's lesson via video, so if at any time you miss what I say or you need to stop, please press the pause button or rewind it. So on page 138, you are gonna be questioning, making questions and then answering them in your head. If you look at the first picture, you see a boy and a girl that are recycling. We are gonna be working with our five W's, which are the who, what, where, when, how, where, and why's. The examples are done for you by looking at the first picture. So in the first picture, you needed to create a who question and they wrote who is involved in the recycling project. Then they had to create a what question. It said, what are they recycling? Number three, they wrote when. When do they begin the project? Number four, how. How are they collecting the newspapers? Number five, where. Where do they take the paper? And number six is why. Why are they doing the project? So again, they created questions using who, what, when, how, where, and why. And you guys are going to be asked to do the same thing using the second picture. So the second picture, you see four, it looks like four teenagers, three girls and a boy, and they are in a garden, it looks like pulling weeds, planting plants. So you need to create six questions based on that picture. And the first question is going to be a who question. So who, and write your question using who. For example, you could say, who is in the garden? And then make sure you put a question mark at the end. So you're going to be writing a who question right now. The second one is what. So what are they gardening? I don't know what type of plants there are. Or what are they weeding? Um, what are they using to pull the weeds? What are they wearing on their hands? Any question that starts with what. You guys are writing a what question. Number three is when. You're going to be writing a when question. So when were they in the garden? When did they decide to do this project? When are they going to be finished? Any question that starts with when. Number four is how. You're going to be creating a question using how. Number five is where. And number six is why. So you need to complete six questions based on that one picture. Again, a who question, a what question, a when question, a how question, a where question, and a why question. Please stop this video at this point or pause this video at this point so that you may complete pages 138, making sure each of your questions has a capital letter and ends in a question mark. All right, if you started the video back up, that means you must have completed page 138. I'd like you to put an X through page 139. You do not need to complete page 139. Turn to page 140 and 141. I'm going to read each of the yellow I'm going to read each of the yellow boxes to you. It's going to be our job to decide on which heading best describes that yellow box. So if you look at your page, these are the heading options that you have to choose from. I'm going to read this first yellow box. It says Jazz began with a recipe that had many different ingredients and make sure you're following along. Again, Jazz began with a recipe that had many different ingredients. Different groups of people, including Africans and Europeans, were part of this recipe. Different kinds of music, including the blues and ragtime, were also a part of the recipe. All of these ingredients combined to make America's own music, jazz. Okay, We have eight choices at the top to choose from in order to select the correct heading. I am going to give you only two options and you choose the best of the two. So I'm going to say the melting pot of sounds or is it the birth of jazz? Hmm, what is that passage about? It's about how jazz began. So I think it's about the birth of jazz. Birth of jazz is correct. So I'm going to write the birth of jazz on the top line right here. Birth of jazz. And then cross it out at the top. 
do that right now. Birth of Jazz and then cross it out. You're only going to use it once. Second yellow box. Workers sang songs during the long work day. They sang in fields and on ships. They sang while working on the railroads. The work song was an important part of their day. With tools in their hands, they worked to the steady beat. The songs made life a little easier. There were many kinds of work songs, and these songs played a part in jazz. So is that entire paragraph about... Hmm. The song of a worker? Or is that entire paragraph about singing the blues? Which of those two describes that paragraph? The song of the worker or singing the blues? You decide, write it on the line, and then cross it off. Again, is it the song of the worker or singing the blues? Third passage. Church music was important to jazz. African Americans made new kinds of church music. They formed their own churches and rewrote the old songs to express their faith. They changed the words, the beat, and the tune. They used the African call and response when they sang. This music became an ingredient in the jazz recipe. Is this passage about immigrant Americans adding to the recipe or African Americans adding to the recipe? Who is adding to the recipe in this paragraph? Is it immigrant Americans add to the recipe or African Americans add to the recipe? You think about it, write it on the line, and then cross it off. Fourth passage. Music of immigrant Americans added to jazz. The Scotch-Irish had ballads. Ballads tell stories of heroes and their bravery, and these stories are often sad. The song is usually simple. In a ballad, the story is often more important than the music. Ballads became another ingredient in the jazz recipe. So, is that passage about ragtime surprise? Or immigrant Americans add to the recipe? Which one is describing that, that paragraph? Ragtime surprise or immigrant Americans add to the recipe? <clears throat> I've just read to you the first four paragraphs. That means you have four more left. The four you have left should be African and European Music Unites, Ragtime Surprise, Singing the Blues, and The Melting Pot of Sound. I'd like you to read the four paragraphs on page 141 and decide which of those headings goes with which paragraph. Take your time and reread the paragraph if necessary. Please pause this video at this time so that you can complete pages 141. All right, guys, I guess you completed page 141, and we're going to turn to page 142. On 142, we are going to practice writing a masterpiece sentence. So we're going to practice writing a masterpiece sentence. Let's look at the picture on page 142. What do we see? Hmm, I see a man, and he's playing a trumpet. I see lots of other people playing a trumpet and a trombone. It looks like I see a microphone there, so somebody may be singing. But they're asking us first, in the first box, who or what did it? So right here, who or what did it? What is somebody called that plays an instrument? Think about it. What is somebody called that plays an instrument? That person is called a musician. So who or what are we talking about in this picture? We're talking about a musician. So in that first blue box, you're going to put the musician. And musician is spelled M-U-S-I-C-I-A-N. The musician. All right, so then we're going to look at the next blue box. It says, what did they do? Well, in one word, what is the musician doing? The musician is playing. So you're going to write playing in that box. Playing. P-L-A-Y-I-N-G. Playing. Right in this blue box. 
right here, it says, what did they do it to? That means, what is the musician playing? Well, if we look at the picture, what is the musician playing? He's playing a trumpet. So you're going to put the trumpet right here. Trumpet. T-R-U-M-P-E-T. Then it asks you when. When is the musician playing the trumpet? You can make up anything. You could say on Tuesday night, on Thursday night, on Friday evening at 6 p.m., Saturday morning. I don't care, but fill in a when. When is the musician playing the trumpet? And after you put in a when, you're going to put a where. Where is the musician playing the trumpet? Where is the musician playing the trumpet? In a club, in his house, in the streets, in the palace theater. I don't care, but put a when and a where. And then lastly, how. How is he playing the trumpet? How is he playing the trumpet? Sorry, guys. I'll help you with this one. For my other class, I put loudly. How is he playing? He's playing loudly. You could say he's playing, playing wonderfully. He's playing horribly if you don't like it. Um, he's boring. Any how that you want to put. How is the musician playing the trumpet? So you should have completed the musician playing the trumpet. Tell me where. Tell me where. I'm sorry, tell me when, tell me where, and tell me how. Pause the video if you need to catch up at this point. All right, at the very bottom, it wants you to write a final sentence. I need you to take all of this information, and I need you to create a sentence that makes sense using all the information that you block, you plugged into these boxes. At the bottom, create a sentence that makes sense. Make sure you have a capital letter and a period. Pause the video at this time so that you can write your sentence. Okay, at this point, you guys are caught up. I need you to make sure that you have pages 138, 140, 141, and 142 completed, and you can go ahead and work on your Ed Puzzle. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.